May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Guke Audio Podcast. I'm DC Poopa of Guke Audio and Guke Archives. Pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. Ah, so um, my voice is a little different today, you might notice. Um, I was doing a lot of coughing on um, Thursday and Friday uh, because I have COVID. Uh, And, uh, you know, my booster, I I got it about, or the first, symptoms about 10 days after the booster. And the booster is supposed to have at least two weeks. <laughs> uh, and it was my birthday. <laughs> and we were on a little birthday vacation that my beloved wife, Katrinka, had taken us on to Bali Lush. You can look that up, Bali Lush. And... Uh, because she's friends with the owners. and Anyway, so um, second day, I was just feeling you know, like a little down, a little fluish or something. And uh, uh, it was like 100 steps down to the uh, cabin where we were. Very nice cabin. It's all, um, it's all uh, built from homes in uh, Java they bought and brought back in and then they numbered all the pieces and put them back together it's really really nice incredible attention to detail there incidentally um yeah really good and katrinka and i are both uh hoteliers in a sense she really has been one for many many years but uh i did a lot of that at tasahara and some of it at green gulch too so attention to detail is really important um and, and one detail in the steps, say, going down, and this is like many, many steps. When I say 100, might not be 100. I don't know. I didn't count them, which is funny. I usually like to count things like that. But the other thing is because of this uh, uh, COVID, uh, my mind is very lazy. It's really been nice, you know. I just don't think about so much. I don't care about much. Um, I, I've, I've noticed that uh, when I fasted once, <laughs> I got to the point where I really didn't care about anything. (laughs) That was after uh, about five days. (laughs) But um, anyway, I told her that, you know, I'm, my birthday was 77, right? And and one thing I noticed as I get older is my balance isn't as good. So uh, like step, I really like handrails, you know? And um, uh, there are no handrails going down. So I have to be careful. You know, I have to pay attention, really have to pay attention. Um, so, uh, but I said, you know, it was really easy um, going down there because, and, and the reason was is because the the height of each step was pretty low. And I realized, and this is nothing I'd ever thought about before, the, the steps here in, in, in our house coming up here are, are a little high. It's a little steep. But, you know, there's only 13 steps. Uh, and a handrail, uh, and I like it because it's good exercise. I go up and down it sometimes like 10 times just to get a little walk inside and go back to work. Uh, but anyway, that was one really good thing. But So I go up there and have a little breakfast. I didn't feel like eating a lot, and I went da- back down, hmm, slept three hours, and uh, then I uh, coughed some in the first night. Then the... the Second day, I coughed some and coughed some that night. Yeah, and the, the coughing got like a little more intense, but it wasn't continual. But it got to where I was tired of doing. But then it's it, it, it uh, Saturday, the day we left, and I had spent all my time sleeping or st- sitting on at a table in front and staring at the beautiful uh, rice fields and jungle, really gorgeous, um, and and got some work in. Um, and, uh, then, uh, our, our uh, driver come out and came to pick us up and he, he brought us some tests. So we tested, oh boy, does that sting? That, 
thing up your nose. Oh man, that is hard to do. God, um, it's a, such an unpleasant feeling. It really doesn't really hurt. I don't think it sort of stings. Anyway, did it twice, and uh, I got two red lines. So don't know where I got it. The I I, I assumed I'd gotten it in the studio a few days before. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, about maybe five days before we left, or no, one day before we left. Uh, uh, I was in the studio. Uh, there's a really small room, you know, with uh, three other guys, and uh, you know, uh, I and I, I knew it wasn't wise, and but uh, you know, musicians are crazy, and uh, uh, and I'm not usually a musician, but. When I am, I'm crazy. Uh, so I thought it was from there, but still none of them have shown any signs. Uh, our our housekeeper got tested today. Nope, negative, and she got a PCR test. Um, but the 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 woman proprietor uh, uh, is sick, and her mother's sick, and her mother was sick before I got there. So maybe I got it from them. Doesn't I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you know really just been like an added vacation uh, uh, because uh, especially after I left there the, the you know the the coughing and stuff and I, I never had a temperature uh, never have had anything and it didn't affect anything else it didn't affect the way things tasted or anything um, but since I got back here um, I and, and Katrinka tested negative, but she was a little sick, so we think maybe she's positive. But I'm I'm staying upstairs in the guest room. It's really airy and nice, and, and it's been so pleasant. And I'm just not able to sleep that much most of the time. And um and and one thing I I wouldn't want to sleep that much, but this makes me not care about anything. So it's really sort of pleasant. And I'm getting a little bit done. Uh, so, uh, anyway, that's uh, my report on that. Um, so, hey, I'm going to read you a um, Shunyu Suzuki uh, lecture excerpt that was uh, on, uh, that just went up on uh, uh, Instagram. Kuk Archives Instagram. It's really great. Really nice picture of him. And I know where that picture is from. That is... A that is a still I took off of uh, the film uh, footage of him for uh, the Sunseed. Uh, I got a bunch of I have I I've te I took hundreds of stills off of uh, uh, the you know the film and it's all on uh, shonyuzuzuki dot com in the film section. All right, so anyway, I'm going to read you the, the um, lecture excerpt here. People create problems which they do not actually have. When you are afraid of some problem or when you are too concerned about yourself, you create problems and you suffer. Mostly our problems are homemade problems. But if you realize this point, you may realize how important it is to practice Zen. When you practice Zen, there are no problems, and you will have some bright light within and without. When the light comes, there is no problem. Wow, you know, that's a little unusual. Uh, that's an unusual quote. It really stands out. Um, Mm. All right. I don't think I need to add anything to that. Hey, look, I'll read it again, all right? People create problems which they do not actually have. When you are afraid of some problem or when you are too concerned about yourself, you create problems and you suffer. Mostly our problems are homemade problems. But if you realize this point, you may realize how important it is to practice Zen. When you practice Zen, there are no problems, and you will have some bright light within and without. 
When the light comes, there is no problem. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Senor Windogget Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and Dear Lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. <laughs>